Right, so you're new in DaVinci Resolve, you want to create a timeline to start your first project. But when you open up DaVinci Resolve, there isn't a timeline. There's two ways how you can create one. Right now I'm in the edit tab and I'm here at the master bin. You can create different bins here if you like to, but creating a timeline goes by clicking your right mouse button and then go to timelines, create new timeline. You can also create a new timeline using a selected bin but we're going to do the create new timeline. And then it says the start of the time code, the timeline name. So let's call this first project, number of video tracks. Let's make this two because you've got a main track and then you've got an overlay. Maybe you want to have an adjustment layer for colors or you're going to add some lower thirds. We're going to add in two audio tracks as well. And we want the audio track to be stereo. We want an empty timeline and we want to use the project settings. Now, if you want to know the project settings, there's this gear icon right here that you can't click when you're in this menu. So you need to know before, but let's hit create. And you see we've got a timeline here. Now, if we click this gear icon, we can see in the master settings, we see we've got a timeline resolution of 1920 by 1080. And we've got a 25 frames per second timeline. You can change the frame rate if you want to, but you need to do it at the start of this project. Okay, so let's click cancel. And that was the first way how to create a timeline. Now let's look at a second way. For that, we need a new clip. Now this is a video I did before how to add transitions. Let's drag it into the bin. And now we can use it in Resolve. And this is our timeline right here, but we're going to create a new one using this clip. And we're going to select this clip, click the right mouse button, and then create new timeline using selected clips. Select that. And then we've got the same options. I'm going to use project settings again. And let's change the number of video tracks to two, and let's change the audio tracks to two, and hit create. And then we see we've got a second timeline. Now the second timeline automatically inserts the clip. If we want to go back to the first timeline, we need to double click it and we're back at our empty timeline again. And that's how you do it.